Alright, so. Microsoft event number two. Why don't, why don't you guys each introduce yourself and we'll, we got a four person round table here for the reactions. Mike Rizzo, News Editor. News Editor. News Editor. Joey Davidson, Editor. Ryan Olson, Director of Reviews. And I'm Sean O'Neill, doing PR and a whole bunch of other crap. <laughs> so, what did you think? <laughs> Uh, what did you think of what Microsoft showed today? Uh, well, first of all, they started off... Let's with start with the high points. What was your high points? They started off with everything good. Gears 3, uh, Halo Reach, Space Battles, so epic. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything else. Well, what Joey, else what, what did you... Uh, well, like you said, the Space Battle stuff, I think, absolutely blew our minds. And then the giant monsters in Gears 3 were pretty freaking sweet, too. Um, the Forza thing I thought was pretty cool. I know that car nuts, we were talking about this, car yeah. nuts are going to go absolutely batshit for this. It's controllable car porn. So. Right, and I think on a positive note, I think all the all the, the Kinect stuff that we're seeing is very, I mean, a lot of people might not like this, but it's very kid-friendly. Like, a lot of kids are going to really, really go nuts. Especially yeah. the Star Wars thing. And we would Wars. like a Star Wars game for us, but it's not going to We're not there yet. Yeah. So, um, I think that and the, the animals, the connectable stuff is, is a great push for the casual audience that they're going for right now. Yeah, I mean, so, to be fair, we do have the Force Unleash coming right. to 360 and all that. Right. And, and you know, who knows if that's going to have uh, connect support or what. Uh, we don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Don't have it. All right, so what was your high points? Well, I think the high point would be the, the very beginning of the, the, whole, the whole show with uh, what everybody else been saying, Gears 3. I, I even forgot because under all this connect stuff, yeah. I totally forgot about the first half of the show. Yeah, there, was, there was stuff I was excited about. Oh, oh, oh my god, I forgot about what, what about that announcement that 360 is going to get time exclusivity for all Call of Duty content? How ridiculous is that? That's really ridiculous. Yeah. Because well, they need so much money. I mean, it makes sense. It because makes that's, sense. that's where the majority of these Call of Duty players are. It hurts. Well, no, because if you look at the PS3, tons of people on the PS3 are playing Call of Duty. You know, not like as much as I see on the 360. My friends list, comparatively, not even close. Yes, but not I mean, close. there are 360 or PS3 Call of Duty players out there, and they just got basically screwed. So yeah. it's is what. Well, happens. it's coming to them. It's just coming to them later. Yes, and in the gaming world, if it's not day one, you're right. screwed. Yeah, yeah. So, the, the Liberty, Liberty City stuff from GTA 4. Right. right. Really, everybody doesn't, but no, nobody benefits except for Microsoft, really, in that situation. Well, it was, I think, a very smart strategic move well, on their part. Microsoft, they win. I mean, shit. Yeah. So, DLC-wise, like they did last year, they kind of locked everything down pretty well. Um, what did you guys think of the Metal Gear Solid uh, oh, yeah. That was awesome. Oh, oh, oh. hey, Brad, introduce yourself since you just jumped in here. I'm Brad, I'm the uh, news director for Combo. Fantastic. Yeah, no, oh, Metal Gear Rising, that kind of, that makes me excited about the game, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The series is a whole more, because after the whole stealth thing, I think the action's going to work really well. I'm really new to Metal Gear, and I, I freaking loved Metal Gear Solid 4, like, that's kind of where I jumped in on the series. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to Metal Gear. Did you got an Xbox in there? <laughs> no, that's Ken. Ken's coming back with the, the 360. Oh, how, how angry are we? Oh, 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 oh. I've been trying for months to get into that Prince conference. He's yeah. watching. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I wish we were all on Oprah 2.0 there. Uh, you get an Xbox, You get an Xbox. <laughs> so what, what did you guys think of the new hardware? Oh, I, you said it while it came it's, up, but it looks like an X, and that's brilliant. Yeah, it, look, it looks more like an X, because right. w with the original design, it was more like the sweeping X, so it was too subtle. Mm -hmm. And now they're going back to the original design. Xbox original. Yeah, yeah, where it's more more clean lines. Yeah, it more does look a little bit more like a nice electronic Alienware. Is item that would be in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be quieter, too, and it has... Uh, Deadly oh, silent. It has yeah. <laughs> whisper silent. Oh, yeah, whisper silent. silent. It has vents on the side, so maybe... Yeah, did you see how large those events were? Catching up with the, the rest of the consoles with the wireless built in, too. Right? So, and everyone who likes to... What's that? Wireless N, too. Right, exactly. Everyone who likes to rattle off all of the price points where the PS3 is more affordable because you get all of this built in, like, that wireless one's a big dent. Yeah. Because that wireless on 360 Yeah, now we... Blu-ray is about the only big difference. That and, and the costly PSN service, which costs free PSN service, which as of today, we're yeah. Gonna yeah. I mean, the only thing that Sony's going to start going for as far as like the hardware, once this is all said and done, is the 3D firmware and Blu-ray and Blu-ray. 
Which are two massive trump cards. Right, they're I mean, big. They're, they're big. very big, but I mean, three is not going to be big for probably another five years. Blue which Ray we're kind of on the, yeah, and Blu ray is their big thing right now. Yeah, I'm telling All you, right. Microsoft to get back to yeah, yeah, Hulu. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, so, yeah. hold on, hold on, guys. Let's comment down here. No. What, what did you guys see that you were disappointed in? I know we saw some of the Natal stuff, or excuse me, Connect stuff. All yes, that in <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I saw a lot of that stuff last night, so this was kind of. It's I had a nice. Rage, uh, rage back. Like, you guys. I can compare this to rape, but I won't. But you guys basically <laughs> had a, a. This came all at once. I had a nice buffer last night. So I was kind of like. How can you compare that to rage? See, <laughs> I, could, I don't want to. Alright, see, I, I'm going to be the voice of region here. I think that that clearly was not geared geared towards us. It's and not showing it why did you separate events? Because. Because there's no press briefing for kids. Then you, you take it on USA Today, you take it on The View, you but take it on Oprah. Hold they on. Film they're, film they're, it they're, they're, showing, they're showing that 360 is no longer just the shooter, bloody no, mess it still is. console. Then sell it better. Don't make it boring. The make thing it is, they're. they're Rather than, than covering all bases, they've literally just split it directly in half. So instead of making it an appeal to everyone's system, it appeals to the strong left and the strong right, and the middle is just kind of going, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> well, they have Forza. Yes. Forza, but that's it. What else bridges the gap, though? You know? yeah. Well, I still but like... But even that, though. You know, people who love racing games love the, the force feedback wheels. Right. No. Yeah, I was really disappointed that you can't, at least from what we see now, you can't use a controller... To control the driving aspect, and then use uh, uh, Connect uh, to do the head tilt or uh, motion tracking. And for so long, we were last year. This time, they were showing us how you could scan in stuff, and yeah, that right. seems to all the the disappear. The skateboard. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, Tony so Hawk came out, so they got the skateboard. <laughs> <They're not laughs> right. Scratch that idea. All right, guys. So overall, what did you think of Microsoft's uh, performance so far this E3? buried their leaves. Every time they've had a big announcement, they've just buried it in a bunch of crap. Like, I mean, even the, the games that look kind of interesting for, for Connect, they would they would make an interesting point and they would start burying it with all the casual stuff. And yeah. like, you know, Gears and Halo and Call of Duty were all at the very beginning of the press conference. So by the time we got to the middle of the end, we almost forgot what was going on at the beginning. You know, the, the only big shoppers was they're giving away, you know, the slim that everybody in attendance and it makes me angry. You so, know, yeah. well, okay, but it, was boring, it was boring to us. That's what but I was just about to say. It's not boring to a lot of people who enjoy the Wii. They're this stuff see this. is not tailored for... Exactly. For, uh, we might be game press, but this stuff isn't tailored for game press. It's tailored for the general public. That's it's what this tailored is. for the press. Right. So, you know, while, while the majority of us might be, like, hardcore gaming enthusiasts, like, when we get... When, when it comes time to make money, they're trying to make it appeal to, like you said before, the view. Yeah. Or... The, like Good Morning America, those shows get word of this stuff, and people are going to go nuts. I mean, and the general uh, the general public isn't going to look at that and say, "Oh, they're just copying the Wii." It's no, they're going to be like, "Oh, <laughs> it's got the same font." Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The tiger. Ooh. The tiger. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap it up because we're running out of time on video here. Uh, give us a grade on what what you thought. If not for the Halo Reach and the Gears Three at the beginning, it would be a solid D. Okay. Just for me personally, as it is, I'll give it a C. All right, Joey. Uh, I, I give it probably a C. Thirty minutes into the conference, I would have given it an A, but where, where it wound up, it's a, it's a C plus B minus for me. Yeah, I would say probably a C minus. I mean, you know, aside from the stuff at the very beginning, the very end, everything else was just a massive waste of time. I know we do I've got to kind of split this. <laughs> I've got to cop out a little bit. For me personally, it was a C minus, but for the, the gaming population and people who will be interested in it, I think it's a B plus. It's a yeah. All right. It's yeah, a it's win. A winner win overall, for Microsoft. Lost the yeah. gaming press. How about that? <laughs> yep. We're all angry, but they win anyway. Yep. Good game, Microsoft. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll be uh, continuing to do these uh, video blogs. We got uh, EA and Ubisoft later today. So keep it here to combo.com.